Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel Let's Crack It. So today I am back with a new video about the Infosys puzzle questions. So before directly solving today's uh, questions, uh, there are certain things to be noted here. Like uh, the first thing is that I request all of you to pause the video. Like uh, try these questions on your own. Like only when you try these questions on your own, you can get the approach. So not just listening to the logic. And second thing is that there may be different logic like many logics are possible for each questions so i will be explaining only the logic which i have observed the pattern which i have observed but there is a possibility of other logics also so that's my i mean request you should observe and finally join the telegram group which i have mentioned in the description box for our channel let's crack it a discussion group so if you are not a subscriber yet just hit the subscribe button and we will be coming with different videos on the Infosys in the coming days because you are going to write the exam not only this uh, in puzzle questions but also other sections of Infosys like pseudocode and aptitude and other sections so if you are not a subscriber my request is to you to subscribe the channel so let's start uh, solving the questions here comes 5 5 11 55 in the first row second row third row now I am revealing the logic here so 11 5s are 55 right 11 5s are 55 16 4s are 64 but if we observe to the left side 5 plus 5 10 10 by 2 is 5 like average of first two columns so here average of first two columns 6 plus 2 8 by 2 is 4 the average is here 5 so 7 plus 5 by 2 12 by 2 6 directly 13 6 is 70 age 16 4s are 64 11 5s are 55 option b is the correct answer the logic here is the same and you may have the different logic here comes the very first question so the logic before explaining the logic try to pass the video and uh, try it on your own now so this is the first box second box and third box so the same relation which we see in the first two boxes is also seen in the third box now the logic here comes the logic 13 sevens are we get 91 and 19 threes are we get 19 into 3 57 so if you observe 91 each digit is represented in the single box like 91 13 sevens are 19 threes are 57 17 eights are we get 136 so 13 is written in the first box option b is the correct answer moving on here comes the next one so i have already told you guys earlier that once you know the logic a question seems to be easy but uh, finding the logic is the difficult part so if you ask me this question is uh, one such question which is uh, difficult to find the logic because it's not easy as it is uh, looking so the, i'm revealing the logic 13 21 5 but don't see it as 13 21 like 1 into 2 we get 1 into 2 plus here the in units place 3 into 1 3 into 1 we get 5 so here in the units place only 6 and uh, 4 so 6 4s are 24 i got and here in the units place 1 6 so 1 into 6 plus and the tens place 1 into 3 3 6 plus 3 we get 9 option b is the correct answer logic i hope you got the logic and moving on here we get the fourth one so it might not uh, seem to be easy but it is a very easy question so once you come to know the logic even you will agree with me like uh, there are three rows right so the logic here is simply 16 plus 57 we get 67 73 73 plus 14 87 87 plus 13 100 so the sum of all the values in a row in a particular row row is uh, summing up to 100 similarly in the second row we, if we add all these numbers we are getting 100 so now we got the logic logic right 21 plus 12 33 33 plus 14 47 so 47 plus some question mark we don't know it some value should be added on the whole we, we should get 100 right so what will be that number 100 minus 47 i get it as 53 option b is the correct one simply the logic is uh, summing up all the values in a row moving on here comes so 9 6 and 45 it is given so 10 6 here 6 is given basically 10 into 6 on 10 multiplied by 6 we get 60 right but here we see 6 so 60 on reversing we get 06 which uh, we can also write it as 6 simply and 96 we get uh, basically 54 96 of 54 on reversing it we get 45 so 45 is written in the third box third row so 7 for the 28 i basically get so i have to reverse it 
so i can write it as 82 option d is the correct answer so already i have told you guys there will be only one solution with multiple logics so solution will be only one but a logic uh, can be multiple ways so i am explaining one of the logics like which i have observed and compared to the typical question it's a easy one we can say so here directly 10 fours are 40 8 fives are 40 so 40 multiplying the uh, elements in the different columns like first column second column so 10 fours are 40 8 fives are 40 so here 9 fives are 45 15 threes are 45 similarly 7 six are 42 so on multiplying with the uh, digit 21 we get 21 twos are 42 option a is the correct answer seventh question is here so here we are given three boxes like the logic will be same among all these three boxes like two three four in the last value is 29 here similarly five six eight and the last value is somewhat bigger like 125 so here if you observe the logic is simply in the first box like first table two square plus three square plus four square like square of uh, some of the squares of all the other digits we get it as 4 plus 9 plus 16 as 29 isn't it now similarly 5 square plus 6 plus uh, 6 square plus 8 square we get 25 plus 36 plus 64 directly 125 now the final in the final table 3 square 9 plus 36 plus 4 49 we get so option b is the correct answer i hope you have understood the logic simply sum of the squares of the all other digits like all other values in the table and moving on this question is not as difficult as it is looking because we could see here three digit three digit numbers but uh, believe me this is a very easy question just observe the pattern in the individual row so this is row one row two row three so the pattern is 68 71 76 83 so if we observe here 68 on adding with 3 we get 71 plus 5 we get 76 and 76 plus 7 so we are just adding the consecutive add, uh, odd numbers 357 so similarly 117 plus 3 120 plus 5 plus 7 we get it here so 157 plus 3 we get 160 plus 5 165 plus 7 172 so the required answer here is 120 plus 5 125 option d is the correct one so moving on here we got a different question like uh, infosys there is a possibility of asking questions in such a way like not always numerical puzzles are asked so basically the numerical logic is required in whichever the question so i am revealing the logic here 14 17 22 29 14 on adding with 3 17 on adding with 5 22 plus 7 we get 29 so the logic here is adding like a uh, numbers with difference of 2 or odd numbers like 3 5 7 9 so 29 plus 9 i get 38 right so option c is the correct answer but there is another possibility like here we are adding the prime numbers like 3 5 7 are the prime numbers so the next prime number will be 11 right so i can add 29 plus 11 which i get 40 as the answer so even a will be the answer so very rarely this kind of a situation may, uh, may encounter so nothing to worry just the logic is important uh, i'm letting you know the logic in which way the question will be asked and here comes a very simple question like this was asked in the previous infosys exam like x plus x plus x uh, like uh, equation is given so we can write it as 3x is equals to 33 so x directly i can write it as 11 isn't it so x is 11 i am substituting it in the second equation like 11 plus 2y equals to 31 so y i get it as 31 minus 11 20 by 2 10 so finally x equals to 11 y equals to 10 on adding x plus y i get it as 21 this is a very simple question just to uh, to let you know the pattern i have included this so here comes the 10th question so guys a small reminder to everyone if you are not a subscriber subscribe to our channel for all the placement content and placement preparation now here the question is so we observe that 9 6 5 8 are on the corners and in the middle we are given 6 so 9 minus 6 is 3 
so 5 minus 8 or 8 minus 5 the difference is 3 here so sum of the difference is 6 similarly these two numbers the difference and these two numbers difference of 8 and 1 7 a difference of 2 and 3 is 1 so sum of the difference is 8 similarly 6 and 5 difference is 1 we get and 4 and 7 difference is of 3 so 3 plus 1 4 sum of the differences option C is the correct answer and this is a question of medium range of difficulty so I am just uh, directly revealing the logic here so 78 37 if you observe the difference between the two rows of a table like 87 minus 37 I get it as 41 right so this is the first box second box so 12 12 and 53 def the uh, difference will be 53 minus 12 41 so here the logic is the difference remaining same so we got the logic simply directly just I am confirming with the second table 89 minus 56 I get it as 3 so 3 33 56 plus 33 89 and 31 plus 33 64 so the difference here is 33 remaining same now here in the third table we require we get the answer like 75 minus 50 h I get it as 17 the difference is 17 so now the difference should be 17 right so either 42 plus 17 or the answer will be 42 minus 17 so 42 plus 17 I get it as 59 so I don't see any option in as 59 so I am doing 42 minus 17 I get it as 25 the final answer is option B I hope you guys have got the logic right